In two minutes here, Downs, we try to take apart a tricky question in two minutes. Here's a question. What would Jesus say about coronavirus? Here's three things that Jesus taught us to do with any disaster that comes our way. First, cry. The shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. When his own friend Lazarus died, even though Jesus was going to raise him back, he cried. Coronavirus, like any famine, any disaster, any war, is a cause to weep with those who weep. These things should not be. Second, we question. Jesus talked to his Father in heaven a lot, an awful lot, and Jesus taught us to do the same. The whole Bible encourages us, in fact, to talk to our Heavenly Father, to talk to him about what we think, what we feel, what we want, and to ask him our questions. Why, O oh Lord, has this happened? What might you be teaching me in this time? And even ask our most desperate questions, crying out, Father, why? Our Father cares enough to listen. He cares enough to answer our questions. He is our Creator, our Father. Three, call out. Most of all, Jesus taught us in the face of death and disaster to call out to God. In Luke chapter 13, some people told Jesus about a terrible disaster, the killing of the Galileans by Pontius Pilate. And Jesus' response was, this is not karma. They weren't worse sinners, they didn't deserve it. No, this is life in a broken world. Bad stuff happens. And you need to be ready yourself, he said. Death comes to us all. How do we get ready? Jesus tells us. Repent and believe. He will save us. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and life in all its fullness. Not just now, but forever. So that on the day that we die, however that might be, whenever that might be, God will have us home. 